A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nerds YouTube channel. Boring starting of the video. Same statement, same words. I actually need to find something new, but I'm not finding anything new to start the videos. So in the last video also, I'd shared the same thing that I'm short of words or finding the new thing or might be I should start by like this, uh, say what, 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 what? Uh, something like uh, welcome to network nuts yeah so that that will not uh, that makes sense and it's sounding good but uh, up, up till uh, this video you had to bear with uh, the same starting punchline of the videos so friends what's in this video the video is uh, i'm i'm going to show you how you should hide apache version information for errors look just see it's a very small thing but it can be a very big vulnerability uh, suppose my apache is running here so i just do a service httpd restart you need to install the apache first so i'm leaving that to you so apache is started there and if i just go here and what I do here, I go to where www.html, the default location, and here I create a file here, index.html. So this is the, say, main site. I write something like this. That's great, makes sense. And I give service httpd restart again. Now, if I open the browser, and I write HTTP local host or my, my machine name or whatever, or my server name, the index.html page is coming up. That is fine. So anybody who is a friend and who knows the location or who is trying to use your website for genuine purpose will be doing like this, that he'll be writing HTTP and your site name, whatever. But if I have malicious intentions, and I want to break in or uh, use your vulnerabilities or your loopholes that you had done while configuring, <coughs> excuse me, your Apache. What I'll be doing, I'll be hitting the wrong pages. Wrong pages means instead of writing this local host that is giving me the actual page, I will be writing something, some wrong URL that actually doesn't exist. Like I give here fake page. So whenever I give a wrong URL here, the Apache gives me the standard error page 404 not found and the worst part is that it clearly shows my version number and my OS information. That can be a very big vulnerability or a very useful, inf uh, useful information for anybody with some malicious intentions. So what I am intended to do, I intend, I want that if somebody is trying to hit my server with some fake URLs, my Apache should not be displaying this critical information. It's a very small step, a very small thing, but can be very useful. So what need to be done, I close this here. As you must be knowing, the main configuration file is, I'm opening the main configuration file and find the word server signature or I am here at server tokens fine first find the word server signature here it is the default is on what server signature does the default on means that my Apache will by default shows the server version when some error page is being shown like 403 is forbidden or 404 what you had just seen so what I need to do, as I usually do, I copy it, I comment it out and I change it to off. Server signature off. That please do not show the server version information on any error page. And second thing, you need to search for server tokens. And again, copy this as usual and from OS change it to prod that means 
by default the apache was was showing the os information also that means the red hat or or whatever os you are running so by changing it to prod i it it will merely show apache and not the version so just make two changes make server tokens prod instead of os and server signature to off i done these two two changes i restart my server just uh, ignore these errors and if i am the guy with malicious intentions or bad intentions and i am trying to hit you with the same fake page page now look at this it is not showing my apache version number it is show, not showing my os nothing only the basic or a very trim down version of the errors is shown up so in this manner you can restrict or uh, uh, or like uh, limit the information that has to be thrown to anybody who is trying to hit me with some fake urls and then trying to find out what is the u what, what is the version and then going back onto the net and trying to find out the vulnerabilities and the bugs and whatever regarding that version and will hit you again so it is like one of the steps not the only step one of the steps to uh make or or to discourage these kinds of attacks so it's a very simple configuration but i recommend you that you should be doing this on your servers to avoid unnecessary like uh, mess up or attacks on on your servers so i hope you like this video and i'll be coming or will try to find out some new or interesting welcome message up till then take care ciao god bless see you again soon stopping the video now who has pata